Hello class, uh, we are still continuing with our subtopic sitting for examinations. And remember last time we stopped on some new words whereby we looked at words like uh, invigilator, Invigilator is one of the words that we looked at. I remember saying this one is someone who supervises the exams. And then not forgetting the other one again who is responsible for the center. Uh, we say that one is the supervisor. We say there are also supervisors then the invigilators, there are many, many new words that we looked at. But without wasting time, today we want to look at a, a structure. We want to use a certain structure in the sentences. And the structure we are going to use under our subtopic sitting examination. See? We want to look at the use of whereas. This is the structure we are looking at. Whereas. This structure here is used for joining sentences. So we are going to look at how we can use this structure whereas in sentences. First of all, we need to know that whereas is used to mean on the other hand. We are saying, whereas is used to mean on the other hand, or although. So, it can mean on the other hand, or although. That's what we need to know. Then the other thing again, we need to know about whereas is this structure whereas can be used at the beginning of a sentence or within the sentence. Yes, there are two ways of using whereas. One, we are saying we can use at the beginning of the sentence. Then if you cannot use at the beginning of the sentence, you can also use within the sentence, where we always say in the middle of the sentence. But what do we need to know when we use whereas at the beginning of the sentence? When we use whereas at the beginning of the sentence, then we need the idea of a comma. We shall use a comma to separate the two clauses. So we can say, when we use whereas at the beginning of the sentence, a comma is a must. We need a comma to separate the two clauses.
Yes, a comma is needed. So we want to look at some sentences. We want to rewrite some sentences using a whereas and we see how we can apply it in the sentences. Dash 
whereas dash that is now using within the sentence shall we begin with many candidates no this time around we shall turn our sentence we shall begin with the last clause so we shall say john failed whereas many candidates passed John failed, whereas many candidates passed. That is our answer when we use in the middle of the sentence. Remember that when we are using whereas within the sentence, in the middle of the sentence, this time around we don't need the use of the comma because we have used our structure in the middle of the sentence. We only need the idea of a comma when we begin our sentence using a whereas. Let us look at example two. Sentence here. They failed to succeed. sentence one they failed to succeed then sentence two they worked hard you can see when you always work very hard you expect to pass but again here the results are not what we expected. They worked hard, they failed to succeed. They failed to succeed, but they worked in hard. So we can begin this sentence using the word whereas. We can rewrite the two using the word whereas. So now you find that just like when you are using although, when you read these two sentences, you find that there is always the first thing to happen and then there is a second thing to happen. Now when we say they failed to succeed, they worked hard, you find that there is something which happened first, then the other one followed. Now, according to you, if you work hard, you expect to pass. But again, this one worked hard and he failed to succeed. So you find that working hard comes first, and then he failing to succeed comes in last. Now, when we begin with whereas, we shall say, Whereas they worked hard, comma, they failed to succeed. So our whereas is connected to the first action, which is the working hard. So we shall write and say, whereas Whereas they worked hard, we need our comma there, they failed. To succeed, full stop. That's our answer. Whereas they worked hard, they failed to succeed. We said that you connect the structure to the first day action after you have read and you have analyzed. You know which thing happens first and then which one 
happens next. So we are saying, whereas they worked hard, they failed to succeed. Now, if we are using whereas in the middle of the sentence, we shall change this sentence the other way around. That means, this time around, we shall begin with the second action. Which second action is not succeeding. So we shall say, they failed to succeed, whereas they worked hard. That will be our answer when we use with whereas within the sentence. They failed to succeed, whereas they worked hard. That will be our answer. Let us have example three. Let us have it is Julius wasn't feeling well. Julius wasn't feeling well. He managed to complete exams. So we have two sentences here. The first sentence says, Julius wasn't feeling well. Then the second one, he managed to complete exams. Now, if the instructors, if they tell us to begin with whereas, we are going to begin with Whereas, remember what I say, that when we are beginning with whereas, put in your mind that you need the idea of a comma. So the idea of a comma comes in your mind. Then again, the other thing you need to know is to read the two sentences, analyze them, and ask yourself which action comes in first. For example, now here, if we say Julius wasn't feeling well, Julius managed to complete exams. If you analyze, you will discover that Julius not feeling well comes first. So that is the first action. Then Julius managing to complete exams comes to be the second action. Then remember I said when you are beginning with whereas, you need to write whereas and then bring the first action, bring the first sentence, the first thing that happened. Like we have saying, Julius not feeling well is the first thing to happen. So we shall say, whereas Julius wasn't feeling well, comma, he managed to complete exams. That would be our answer. Whereas Julius wasn't feeling well, comma, he managed to complete exams. Let us see the other way around. When we use whereas in the middle of the sentence. So we say use dash. 
whereas dash we are now using in the middle we are given Julius wasn't feeling well he managed to complete exams like I said when we are using within the sentence we shall now begin with the second action of which second action according to our sentences here is managing to complete exams so this he stands for Julius remember the he here is the pronoun standing for Julius which is the noun so instead of saying he managed to complete exams we shall re replace he with now the noun don't begin with the pronoun when you know the noun so we shall say Julius managed to complete exams whereas he wasn't feeling well So we are saying Julius managed to complete the exams whereas he wasn't feeling well. That will be our answer when we use whereas in the middle of the sentences. Now remember some few things that we need to know more about whereas. Like I told you, we need to know that when you begin a sentence with whereas don't forget a comma to separate the two clauses that is one then the other one you need to know when you are using it within a sentence in the middle of the sentence there will be no comma then again when you are beginning with whereas read your two sentences try to analyze them if the two sentences have been joined using a certain structure, eliminate that structure, try to come up with two sentences. When you come up with those two sentences, also analyze which one is the first thing to happen. Because I told you there is always something to happen first, then another thing follows. Then you write your structure and followed by the first action then the comma, then the second action, then your full stop. That's how best you can use it. Whereas, you can also still compare it with although, even though, and also though, when you are using it in the sentence. Not forgetting that you can still relate it to despite, in spite of to help you to come up with the correct answer. So we shall have some exercise, some few sentences. We use this structure and rewrite coming up with the correct answers as we shall see.